Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. Yeah, up on the roof here, working on some solar on a uh, RV. I was gonna show everybody a, uh, a trick. If you got this, if it fits your application anyhow, this is a, a quick little trick for uh, for some RV solar. Uh, you can see a factory, factory installed uh, solar panel. This come from the OEM, from the manufacturer, you know, the 100 watt panel. They call it, you know, solar equipped or what, what have you. But you can see they uh, they run the PV cable down into a roof gland like that, and look at all the you know the mess you got right there. That's a you know on RV roofs. That's a big big spot for possible leaks and stuff like that when you have them roof glands. You know that's fine if you already got it there. You could uh, you know if you want to expand your array. You know, this is a, a go power 100 watt. You know as long as you didn't exceed your charge controller, you could put some splitters right there. You could do. You know, two panels, you could series series two together. You could put a splitter parallel, a couple of sets, you know, depending on your voltage, what have you. Uh, this is a stock stock 12 volt system. It's only got a 30 amp controller. So, you know, it's not gonna hold a lot of glass on it, but you know, you could easily, you know, put another panel in series or parallel as long as it meets your specifications. Of course, check your check your stuff, but uh, you know, I don't, I don't like that so much. Let me show you a little trick. So if you have, a three-way refrigerator, two-way refrigerator on your RV, you know, that'll be electric or propane. You might have this little, this little access right here on your roof, this little cover. I've already took the screws out. You can see the screws right there, just, you know, real easy. Let me show you something right here. Just take this cover right here and look underneath that cover. That goes down. I'll try to get to focus. Hold on a second. That goes down into your, uh, to your refrigerator area. I'll show you a shot from the bottom in a second, but this little little mouse guard right here, you know, keeps bugs and stuff out of your, your three-way refrigerator, but it's open all the way down into the internal compartments of your, your travel trailer or RV. So, uh, you know, that's a good spot. You could uh, you could drill right here if you wanted. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily drill in this. Or you could put a flange, a couple of connectors, your choice. Uh, you could just knock out a little spot right here, run your PV cable down staple it to the to the sides down in there or you could even you know mount your little weather type box and seal it to the roof and you know whatever you know run some seal tight to this however but probably just gonna make a little notch right here and run my pv cables down down through there maybe you can see a little better now it's kind of it's kind of bright but it's open so that's the easy way you know pv cable in right here throw your cover back on you know it's got a nice little fingers width gap seal so you could take your cable in and down i'll save you so much time not to worry about no wire molds or conduits or nothing like that let me show you the view from from down there in the uh, actual cavity of the refrigerator so there'd be your your refrigerator service cover right here just a little plastic cover on most rvs travel trailers stuff like that but you can see this is your you know your internals for your absorption refrigerator oh, look spider webs in there but uh you can see some factory wiring right here that comes down from the top this goes to the control panel on the refrigerator, but you can see in here all this open cavity right here. So the PV wires are gonna come down this cavity right here. That's where you can route them. And then you can just pull this ceiling up right here. And then these wires will take you down uh, inside the cabinet inside your RV most of the time. Or if not, you could always just have a conduit from here, from here down through to your floor, wherever you're going and route your wires instead of going through your ceiling and stuff. So I'm trying to, Save y'all a little bit of time and a little headache if you're doing some, you know, RV or camper van or travel trailer, solar setup kind of stuff like that. So that might save you a little time. And actually you could even go in, even go in on, on this side. That's, they're using that actually as a chase from the manufacturer. I don't know if you can see that, but there, there's a wire chase right there that the OEM used to route wires from overhead back down to the electrical panel. So, uh, you know, either way you want to go on the side, just keep it clear of all these lines you know all your refrigeration lines and the coil is up in there there you go there's a view i was up top up there a while ago and you can see the sunlight coming in where i got the cover off now you can see the coils in the center of the screen i know it's kind of blurry i apologize but look to the right that's a big open cavity you can run your pv cable and then over here let's see if i can get it to focus on the left side might not get a good of view but you see that up top is back up at the sky right there at the roof Easy way to run them PV cables. I'm gonna show you a trick. I'm gonna make twisted pairs for this PV. I'm gonna show you a trick for that. 
So take your factory wire, whether it's a 50 foot spool, 100 foot spool, whatever you got. Now making a twisted pair like this, you're gonna lose some length on your spool, but get your wire twisted out and get it tight, get all the kinks out of it and put it in your battery drill, put it on low speed and then slowly just twist your wires and keep the tension on it. And that's about where I like to stop right there. About a thumb's length twist on it. If you're not done yet, that right there is gonna help help reduce your, your EMI and stuff in your in your wiring. Let's see nice twisted pair all the way down. Let me show you how to lock it in. Alright, once you twist your pair, twist it a little bit tighter than what you want it, because it's gonna it's gonna relax out some when you take your drill off of it. And then have it tight between your spot you as anchor to and just go down about every two or three feet. Make you a couple loops of electrical tape on there that help hold that hold that together. And it won't come unraveled, won't untwist any further, nothing like that. That will help you move the wire, run the wire, keep from getting snagged on stuff. You can use zip ties, you can use electrical tape. Or flex your boat, you're just holding it together to make it easier on yourself when you're routing your wires. So, got about 50 more feet of this to do, but you get the idea. Just tape it up, and that'll keep it all held together. So you can see, it's all twisted and it's all taped up now. I've got it loose for my tie point. You can use the bumper of your truck, your trailer hitch, what have you. So there's the end that's gonna be on the roof. I'm gonna run that end down through that chase I showed you a minute ago. And if you wanna go ahead and pre-make your ends, uh, factory, uh, factory ends usually go like this. Just depends on your manufacturer, but the standard is your, your male out of the panel, or excuse me, your positive out of the panel is a male, so your hot, your positive would be a female on your PV cable, and then on your solar panel, the negative is a female on the panel, so you'd put a male on your wire run, which this is going to be the home run uh, from the roof to the charge controller and breaker panel and all that good stuff but there you go and you can see it's already been where the tape is so it's all twisted but it's it's got just one one or two little curls in it that'll come right out no big deal but you can see it's laying there unsupported with that tape and twisting them they uh yeah, they do their thing so there's two ways of going about running this you could you could wait and make up your ends and feed just the bare wires up through the roof if you're working with a pre-made whip or whatever, you know, your ends are already going to be on one end. You don't want to poke a big hole in your in your chase you're going to be using. And by the way, them Harbor Freight knee pads, oh, them are a lifesaver. Them are real nice. But anyhow, uh, I'm going to feed it down this way. I'm going to leave some slack on the roof because they're still got to still gotta have uh, rails and stuff put up here for panels. But I'm just getting a wire run uh, to add panels and stuff. So you can you know feed it down by yourself or if you got fish sticks or fish tape you can pull from the bottom up your choice on that but mainly this is just showing you you know a few little tips and tricks through the video so i got the my end of the my bare end of the pv cable right there i did a romex push connector right there just a half inch push connector in the stainless mesh and it just so happens that's the perfect size for a twisted pair of 10 gauge pv cable so now i'll just feed that down get to the bottom my helper will pull that then I'll leave about 10 foot on the roof and I'll show you the spool on the bottom because the racking and the panels are going to come right up against this. So this wire is going to come right down under the cover and there's going to be racking right, right along in here. So this PV cable will, will be right running that channel right there. So no danger of it getting damaged or anything because this cover will be right there on it, just like that. Secured down, of course, and then the racking will be and the panel will be right here beside it. So no, no damage, no danger of nothing hitting it all that but i'll show you a couple more things we'll finish up all right so i got all the wire run down through the chase right here it's bundled up down down bottom i'll take you down in just a minute but good practice with the uh, rvs and trailers and travel trailers stuff like that always use an abundance of sealant i just did some clear rtv right here around where i cut around this stainless mesh and put that connector in i just sealed it back up with sealant to keep any bugs or varmints from getting down in this sealed up area you can see down in there, the wire is tucked very tight to the side of the chase, not interfering. I know you can't see good in there with the light, but 
the refrigerator coil is completely clear. I'm a good six inches off of that. And uh, one more step up top and I'll go down bottom, but just seal everything with abundance on uh, RVs. And line your, your roof cover up. You can see the wires coming out, plenty of room under there. Line your cover back up, put your screws back in. All right, so all the screws are back on, on the refrigerator vent cover right here, back in its original position. Now the OEM on this model, they'd use just clear RTV sealant over top of the screws. But you can see where it was clean right there, where it hadn't weathered. So uh, we'll just put some, some clear RTV back over the screws to keep any moisture from accumulating down in the hole. And then uh, yeah, we'll call it a day up here on the roof. Now, so I got the wire bundle right here that's gonna go to the electrical section of this uh, RV. As you can see, I brought down the chase where I was talking about up top. And I throw the staple in right there, regular wire staple. And you see the OEM doesn't even do that. No, nothing, nothing is stapled from OEM RV manufacturers from, from what I've gathered and what I've witnessed over the years. But anyhow, um, I always throw a staple in. This situation right here, just it's not tied. It's not tucked, pinched in tight. There's still a little bit of room in case you need to adjust the wire, move it up or down. And we got the wire loom, the wire spool right here, tucked up in the refrigerator cavity service cavity but uh you know of course don't have your refrigerator running doing this this uh particular unit is offline right now so uh, now the fun part begins that was the easy part and the fun part will be getting it routed down right through there into that chase uh you know to get it to its final destination if you will i should have said final wire termination but you know i was in the moment but anyhow that's it for the day i'll give you some more later i got other stuff to do so this part is done today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please hit that like button if I earned it. Because if you liked today's video, I promise you, you're going to love what's coming up. Uh, if you didn't like it, well, I'm sorry. You probably ain't going to like what's coming up. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, question or anything, go ahead and put in the comments. Uh, you know, any RV-related solar, go ahead and hit me up. I hope you got the best I can in the comments. If not, I'll... I'll try to shoot a video and stuff on it. And, uh, you know, next video, too, I'll show you how to use these PV box connectors. How many of y'all have used those? It's going to be real handy for what I'm fixing to do on this system right here. But anyhow, I uh, appreciate y'all watching the Off Mountain Homestead. Hope y'all have a nice day.